Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jerry Dawson, President and CEO of Tascare Finance and Accounting Solutions Firm, based out of one of the newest Common S locations, the Cremel Crow Center, off 2001 Ross Avenue, Dallas, Texas, in downtown Dallas. Um, I'm coming to you today just to inform you of any of the tax implications this coronavirus may have on you and your tax returns, especially individual tax returns, um, which is the deadline is still April 15th, which is also the deadline of C-Corp returns. Before I go any further to that, just want to make people aware of if you have an S-Corp or partnership that you are involved in, are owners of those of those taxable entities, that those tax returns are due today. March 16th, 2020. If you're filing a sentence, that is due today as well. If you do file your sentence for your partnership and escort returns, that will give you a new deadline to file your return, which will be September 15th, 2020. And going back to the individual tax returns, which is April 15th, everybody, as far as any entity, has um, able to, are, is able to do a free filing of an extension, which you can mail that in or suggest e-filing that extension to get it done, um, get it to the IRS and get it set by the IRS, um, approved by the IRS. Uh, let me say that more quickly. So with that April 15th extension, you get to October 15th. So the caveat there is that anytime you, anytime you file an extension, if you owe or end up owing having a balance due by the April 15th, any penalties, there will be penalties and interest that will accrue based on that balance due at that time. So the only thing you have to worry about when you do file an extension, whenever you, for any entity that you file an extension for, is not being hit with a late filing penalty. But any interest will accrue on any balances due for your, um, when you do a extension for your April 15th deadline. Any partnership S corps, you'll have a K-1, which will float to your individual tax return, which will be due April 15th. So that's where it all um, correlates to the April 15th deadline. So in the recent news, you may have been aware, you may have heard or seen from Google News or um, blog sites about news that the President Trump has initiated, um, speaking to the IRS, initiating and using his emergency authority to have the IRS defer any penalties or interests based on any balances due um, by April 15 that are not paid, which will help save millions, billions of dollars as well if we're not being assessed any penalties or our interest based on any amounts to do by April 15. So he's initiating the process of getting that taken care of. It has not been confirmed as of this date. And this was approximately five days ago when he spoke about this on the March 11th. So until that is confirmed, I would still suggest file your um, tax returns as normal. If you normally pay your balance due by April 15, then do that. Do not wait in hopes that this will be um, this will be passed, that you'll have any um, IRS Penalties are, um, are penalties or interest um, not assessed to you based on based on this initiative of the president trying to put together IRS by foregoing any penalties or interest. So prepare it as if that may not happen. If it does happen, that will be a great blessing and we can thank the president for that. But as far as that, continue to do, continue to follow like you normally do. But it is something that to be mindful of, to have a little bit of peace of mind in the midst of, of what's going on. I know people are out from work. If they're a full-time employment working at their employer's office and they said that they work from home, kids are out of school, kids are shut down, um, older kids are have a sentence spring break. So be mindful of all that, how we're trying to, we can figure out how we navigate our time management, dealing with working from home and dealing with kids. So this would be one thing that would be um, added peace of mind that if we do have to file an extension in the midst of whatever is going on, that we have certain penalties um not assessed to us based on what the President Trump trying to issue with the IRS. But one caveat I'd like to point out there that most people may not be aware of it. They are following the news that he's trying to have the payments deferred for any for any businesses and you know certain individuals that have been affected negatively um, by the coronavirus. So what I'm gathering that this is not just a flat out um, initiative that Everybody that has a balanced deadline will have it foregone. Um, that's just what I'm reading now. If it if it confirms that, it doesn't matter if you had uh, if you had any if you were negatively impacted by the by the virus or not, you still can have that um, any interest or penalties um, not assessed based on any balance due by 15. Then that will bless everybody. That would be a blessing. But be mindful of that it could just apply to certain businesses 
are individuals that may have to prove that they had any financial hardships or they were affected negatively by the virus. But one resource I would tell all Common Desk members or family members of Common Desk members to always um, review and use as a resource is irs.gov. That's irs.gov. That is the official website of the IRS. That's where you need to check um, constantly or have your tax, your trusted tax professional, CPA, EA, or tax advisor. Um, keep you abreast of what's going on, any new updates pertaining to what the president initiative with the IRS were for going um, penalties and assessments based on balances due by April 15 that is not paid or any updates. One thing that was also um, put into place on March 11th from the IRS.gov, which pertains to health savings accounts plans, people that are eligible for a high deductible um, health plans based on having an HSA, and I'll read that verbatim off that, but something you want to be aware of if you have a HSA eligible high deductible health plan. And I'll read that here for you just now. The Eternal Revenue Service today, which was March 11, 2020, um, advised that high deductible health plans, HDHPs, can pay for 2019 coronavirus related testing and treatment without jeopardizing their status. This also means that an individual with an HDHP that covers these costs may continue to contribute to a health savings account plan. The IRS also said that health plans that otherwise qualify as HDHPs will not lose that status merely because they cover the cost of testing for our treatment of the coronavirus before plan deductibles have been met. As you know, in most of these high deductible health plans, you have to meet a certain deductible before that plan pays 100% of any medical costs after the fact. So this is saying, and I, was, and I will relay that again, reiterate that again, that I said that health plans that otherwise qualify as HDHPs, high deductible health plans, will not lose that status merely because they cover the cost of testing and treatment for the coronavirus before plan deductibles have been met. The IRS also noted that as in the past, any vaccination costs continue to count as preventive care and can be paid for by HDHP. And the notice applies only to HSA eligible HDHPs, employees and other taxpayers if, with any other type of health plan that has any questions or concerns. You may want to speak to your Pacific health plan provider for that if you have something that's outside of the HSA eligible HDHP health deduct, high deductible health plans. And always stay abreast with the IRS.gov and your tax professional to see if anything's going on. Be wary, be aware of the news and see what exactly if it is go if it is pushed through this initiative by the president to forgo any penalties or interest for any balances due by 15 that is not paid. How much how far would that extend to? Is that just people that have been affected or can prove that they've been affected um, neg negatively by the coronavirus? And would that be an um, initiative that will be um, allowed by anybody, regardless of how they're affected, will they be able to forgo those penalties being assessed to them if they're not paid, if they did not pay their balance to you by April 15th? So once again, this is Jerry Dawson, the president and CEO of Task Care for this, a kind of solutions um, firm that is based out of the, one of the newest locations in Common Desk, the Cromwell Crow Center, all 2001 Ross Avenue. Um, I hope this information provided some type of peace of mind in the midst of what's going on. And bless you, and I'll keep, I'll keep, my, I'll keep abreast of what's going on with the news and what President Trump initiative is about that. Other than that, be blessed.